skadoosh. Chomp, 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 chomp. Hello and welcome to Chomp Down Reviews Quick Bites of Kung Fu Panda 3, the third in the Kung Fu Panda Trilogy. And let me just say that DreamWorks really knocked it out of the parks on this one. But every movie has been really great on its own. And this movie really wrapped them all together nicely and completed the trilogy. There's probably going to be more because it seems to be a cash cow at this point. But as a trilogy itself, the series is great. Since Jack Black first teamed up with the Furious Five as Poe in 2008 with the first Kung Fu Panda, the series has really gone unnoticed pre-release because of its really terrible trailer series. But all of the movies have basically been really solid films. They've all surprised me with how much mass they have to them. The art for the series has only gotten greater to the point where my jaw literally dropped during this new movie and I had to turn to my little brother to make sure we were still watching the same movie and I was like, I love this. I love this. This movie respects 2D art as much as it does 3D art and just goes back and forth and never forgets the roots where animation came from. It's really incredible. These movies are a collection of voice actors. I have a soft spot for J.K. Simmons because of reasons. But he was a really funny villain and a really good follow-up to the last two villains, Ian McShane and Gary Oldman, who are both freaking incredible. Jack Black as Poe is consistently hilarious. Dustin Hoffman as the Y Shifu is absolutely perfect. Jackie Chan is brutally underutilized. They brought Brian Cranston in as Poe's father in this movie, and he kills it like he kills everything else he's in. Brian Cranston's a friggin' legend. And I love the story that this movie tells about fathers. It's really heartwarming. James Hong proves himself to be really useful in this new movie. And Randy Duck Kim is perfect. David Cross, Angelina Jolie, the list goes on and on and on. The Kung Fu has always been fun to watch, and it only gets ramped up in this newest movie. It's cool that in the first movie, when Poe learns Kung Fu, they never take away his knowledge. The only thing that gets in the way is his character traits, and the fact that there's always more to learn to Kung Fu. I think the climax could have been more action-packed, but I think it was really satisfying as it was. And every movie in this trilogy has a really cool theme to it. The first being to believe in yourself, the second, Poe learns to accept his past, and in this third, Poe learns to accept who he truly is, and it's really cool to watch. The Kung Fu Panda trilogy is really more family movies than kids movies, and adults can really learn to enjoy these movies. I really suggest seeing the newest one if you like the other two, and if you haven't seen any of these movies before, they're really ones to watch. I give the newest Kung Fu Panda movie an A, and the series as a whole, a B+, because that animation from the TV series is... So, what did you think of Kung Fu Panda 3? Do you like the series? Which one's your favorite movie? Click that like and subscribe button because if you like this, you're definitely not going to want to miss my Deadpool review or my Walking Dead Season 2 review. So, I'll see you soon. Keep it hyped.